The third and final step in the forensics process is the reporting phase. OS Forensics provides you with a professional, effective, and efficient report at the conclusion of your case. We've discussed the reporting options several times throughout this course, but now let's take a closer look at building your final case report. Before we go over how to build and generate your OS Forensics report, let's go over a few report essentials. In most every case, it's best practice to include the following items in every case. Your CV, certifications, experience, etc., plus copies of things like your legal authority for the examination, copies of reports from outside agencies or organizations, and any other relevant file that may be useful to include in your case should be attached to or included in your report. As mentioned early on in this course, OS Forensics provides an HTML editor which allows you to write a full-length narrative or case synopsis as the focal point of your report. You can even save report templates for future casework. Here we see a visual example of how and where to access the HTML editor. Within the Manage Case module, click on the Edit Narrative button, then click on the Advanced Edit button. Doing so, will open the HTML case narrative editor. Here you can type your full summary of your examination and analysis. You have full control over your font, formatting, and can even insert things like images and screenshots, or add hyperlinks directly into the narrative section. You can load previously saved narrative templates by simply clicking on the Load Template button from the Case Narrative tab. Once you're finished building your case and writing your narrative, and after attaching any external reports, photos, or other attachments, you will need to generate your final report from the Manage Case module. Clicking the Generate Report button will bring up the report generator. Here you can choose which artifacts, files, and scan results will be included in the report. You must choose a report template for either HTML, PDF, or both, and can even replace the default OS Forensics and Passmark logos with your own agency or company logos for a more professional, customized appearance. If you do not wish to include the case activity log or any of the tagged items, you will want to ensure these are not checked. Outlined here are the report template options. The default is the case report HTML only option. You can also choose a case report no JavaScript HTML report, or the printer-friendly option which will also allow you to generate a PDF report. You will also see you have the option of creating two other separate reports, a chain of custody report and an OS Forensics case log report. The extra information box, if checked, will include full file metadata for the files in the case. If left unchecked, you will get a smaller, more manageable amount of file metadata included in the report. Remember also to pay special attention to these two options here. The link to files and case option will create a report where the files that are included will not be viewable on any computer other than the one where the case directory resides. If you plan on distributing your report to a third party via DVD, Blu-ray, or USB device, you will want to choose the Copy Files to Report location so that the evidence files themselves will also be included in the report directory and therefore 
allowing the hyperlinks to work correctly. OS Forensics was the first commercial forensics tool to consolidate reporting from various vendors and sources. Most forensic examiners will use multiple tools throughout a case, thus producing multiple vendor reports. Maybe they will use a secondary forensic software to validate the OS Forensics findings. Maybe you had several phones and utilized a phone-specific forensic suite of tools to examine them. Either way, you can now consolidate all of your vendor reports into your main OS Forensics case report. With OSF's new Add External Report feature, users can add all of their other tools reports as hyperlinks into the main OS Forensics report. This is a much more efficient and professional way to present your final report to a prosecutor, a client, or supervisor when you can hand them one final report as opposed to a handful of individual separate reports. Here we see an example of adding another commercial forensics product report to your OS forensics case report. If adding an HTML report or another report format that is supported by accompanying files hyperlinked within the report, you will need to ensure that the copy entire report folder option is checkmarked as shown here. Give the report a title and some descriptive notes if you wish and click OK. When viewing the OS Forensics case report, the external reports will be grouped together and hyperlinked within the OS Forensics report. Once you generate the OS Forensics report, the report will open automatically in your default browser. If you need to reopen a previously generated report on the host machine, simply highlight the report in the OS Forensics Case Manager and click Open. If you copy the report directory, to an optical disk or USB device for distribution to another individual, you will need to instruct them how to open the report. Simply open the report directory and locate the report.html file as shown here in this slide. Double click this file to launch the report in the default web browser. As you conducted your examination and added files and results to your OS Forensics case, you had the opportunity to assign a category to that file or record being added to the case. OS Forensics comes with a pre-built set of sample categories, but it is intended that the user create their own categories to better match their specific case work. You can remove the pre-built category in the Edit Case section. Simply right-click and click Remove Category. To add your own custom categories, simply click the Add Category button and enter a category name and optional description into the boxes above. When finished, simply click the Save button. You can also assign a color and keyboard shortcut to the category as well. Another way to quickly edit all categories in one process, you could modify the categories.txt file in the OS Forensics program data directory as shown here. As you review your options in the report generator, you will see one labeled Categorized Artifacts. If checked, it will include a section in the report dedicated to the categories that you assigned to files and results. If you utilize the categories feature, this is a great way to categorize your case evidence for quick review in the report. However, if you do not utilize the categories feature when adding evidence to your case, you will probably want to exclude the section in your report. In this case, simply uncheck this box before generating your report.
If you had added any photos of evidence, such as detailed pictures of a disk drive to your case via the Manage Case module, they will appear here in your case report. Should you choose to include the case activity log in your report, it will be included here under the case materials section. Any files that you added to your case during your examination can be viewed under the Other Artifacts section of the report by clicking on the Files hyperlink. You may click on the files in the main view pane to open them. If you choose the Printer Friendly Report template, it will look a bit different from the default HTML report. If you need to create a PDF version of your report, you will need to choose the Case Report Printer Friendly HTML Plus PDF template at the top. Remember, this is just setting the template, so you will also need to check mark that you wish to generate a PDF copy in Output Location box as shown here in this slide. You can also choose to secure the PDF report with the password by checking this box and entering a password. Once distributed, users will be prompted for the report password when opening the report. The PDF report version also contains a table of contents. Keep in mind the PDF report will be written to the same location as the HTML report as shown here. 